this video we'll be finishing up the details on the Catan Void Dragon. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So in this video, we'll be painting up the black stone and the green lightning on the Catan Void Dragon. This video is part of three videos where we learn how to paint the Catan Void Dragon, firstly using Sky of NMM, links in the description. Then next, go NMM using the overbrush method, also links in the description. And if you're ready to paint up some black stone and green lightning, let us begin. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So these are the colors you'll be needing to paint the details on the Catan Void Dragon. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the black stone as well as the green lightning. So right here, I've already base coated the entire black stone area in Cabalite Green. And right now, I'm adding in just a little bit of stone grey from Baleo Model Color into the Cabalite Green and doing this overbrush method. I'm using this very small deer foot stippler and what it causes, it causes a lot of random particles to form and I find that this creates a very interesting marble jade effect. My movement on the brush tends to be in a very stippling manner and I tend to pull the brush inwards from the edges to create more effects. So right here, I'm using the same mix, more thin down and I'm stippling on the edges to sort of increase the value while not removing the textures that was created previously. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sort of reduce the contrast to make this look a little bit more palatable. Right now I'm stippling with pure Vallejo watercolor stone grey. just to create an additional layer of texture and to increase the contrast. All right. So I'm going over this now with a nice generous amount of Collier Green Shade from Games Workshop straight from the bottle. So this will help blend in the individual layers and to unify all the black stone together. So now once the Collier Green Shade has dried, I'm using Vallejo Model Color Pastel Green to do the edge highlighting. This is here to refine and to pick out some of the small little details so that when the viewer looks at the black stone, every little corner is picked out and illustrated in a very clear way. So when you're doing edge highlighting, you should always thin down the paint, dry out the brush, and pull the paint towards yourself. If you need help about edge highlighting, do check out our edge highlighting video. Links will be in the description below. So next, we'll be doing the green lightning and right here, I'm currently doing an overbrush of German Camo Beige to create the mid-tones. I deliberately wanted to use overbrush and to stipple this area so that I want to create some particles so that it's more like if you are not sure, you can check out how Ultron looks in the comics where there are 
particles coming out from his mouth and I wanted to create this in miniature form. So as you can see, we have already finished the sky of NMM on the body of this Void Dragon. So if you're not sure how we did it, you can check out the video. Links in the description below. So subsequently, I continue on by adding in Vallejo model color ivory into the mix. Still doing a stippling, overbrushing fashion to create more little particles. And I'm focusing on increasing the value closer to areas where there are arcs symbolizing that there are energies coming up from these areas. Similarly, I'm also going to be focusing on areas where energy is being emitted such as uh, the middle of his headpiece. Just adding more and more Vallejo model color ivory into each stipple and I'm continuing to stipple create more particles so if you're enjoying the video right now do check if you have liked and subscribed because it really helps my channel a lot and so that I can keep producing videos like this Okay, now that we are finishing, we're going to do the fun part right now. I'm going over with a mix of Scale 75 fluorescent green mixed in with a bit of Lamen medium. So this is done as a glaze to colorize the lightning. So one fun fact about fluorescent paints if you are adventurous, you can actually put this under a black light and the fluorescent paint will actually glow. There's no secret paint about that, it's just normal fluorescent paint. However, if you put black light, I uh, don't want to know what else you will see on your room or on your model. So right here, I'm going to be blending this down with a little bit of warp stone from Games Workshop. The contrast range. So sort of like blend the browns with the nice bright greens so that it doesn't look so distinct. Okay, so now with blue model color ivory, I'm gonna be doing some dotting, stippling to create some particles that are not green. Taking on some of the energy sources too.
to just reinforcing some of the values such as where I re-emphasized before and now with pure fluorescent paint I'm doing some stippling in the darker areas to have green particles there too so yeah just playing with some textures and in just a little bit you can see the final result these are some of the details which I've painted on the Void Dragon. Uh, you can check out the red crystal I've done for the Sisters of Battle. And for the eye and for the marble areas on the wings, I've done it the same way as the Blackstone. So this is the finished image. And you can check out more videos of the finished image in our review video. Alright, hope you enjoyed yourself and I hope to see you in just a little bit. So that was how I painted the details for the Catan Void Dragon. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Are there any other models that you'd like to see me paint? Just leave some comments and let me know and I will do my very best to put them into the tutorials. So in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how I taught one of my students to finish an entire Flesh Eater Cots army using overbrush within one week. So do check that out. At this point of time, I'd like to thank my patrons for allowing me to do this. Because of the generous support of my patrons, I'm able to paint and record these awesome tutorials so that we all can become better miniature painters together. Alright, so do head on to our Patreon and support us so that we can keep the lights and the tutorials running. However, for any reason, if you can't become a patron, that's fine too. I'd like to appreciate your time for watching all the way to the end. Do click like, subscribe and leave a comment below because it tells YouTube that this video is relevant and it spreads it to more miniature painters like yourself. So, I hope to catch you in the next video. See you!